Hello, this is Jesse Bourne. I'm making another video on my Secret Tom Sista puzzle chess project. Now, I'm not going to be doing the Yosegi project that I've been doing recently because I'm reading some books on that. I just want to get a little more knowledgeable about sharpening the planes and about uh, how to use the kana in general. So we're going to be putting that on the shelf for a little while as I read upon that. And instead, we're going to just be working on the Secret Tom Sista today. So right now, I've had my brother make a bunch of the drawers with me. And so we have a whole bunch of drawers ready and I just glued in two thirds of all the drawer linings in yesterday and the day before. So I'm just gonna bring you along and show you some of the nuances I picked up on that, which is pretty interesting and informative, I think. So hopefully you guys will get something out of it. Okay, so these are the finished drawers that I did over the past couple of days and I'm just doing oak linings in here. And so we have, it's a five piece lining, one, two, three, four, and a bottom right here, five. All out of oak, Not all. it's not like quarter sawn oak, so you don't have the rays that stand out, but uh, it's still a nice effect. And I made them pretty thin so that we still have a bunch of space inside the drawer for putting things in there if you so desire. So the drawers all actually came out really nice too with the dovetail joinery. There's not a lot of uh, seams or cracks or anything, so that's great. We did a really good job. We got our system down when making these, so that was really nice. So anyway, so that's two thirds of it. And then these are all the center drawers. Um, so if you look right here, you got one, two, three. And these drawers, 25 of them, are what goes right here. And they've just, they're just a hair narrower based on the design. So um, I saved those out separately and I have some of the drawer linings here ready to go. These are all oak. I've got to make a little bit more of that. So if you take a look over here, I have this saw set up with a couple stacked up dado blades that I just cut these shoulders with. So if you see this cut right here, we need to cut the shoulder. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut these up so that we have enough linings and then I'm gonna show you how I uh, inlay them into the, the drawer so that we don't have any seams and we don't have any glue creep out, which is not uh, not visually very appealing. So, okay, let's get started. I made this little uh, this throat plate insert for my camera here so that all I have to do is just put it right here and this matches my tripod so now my camera is that simple to put into uh, the uh, slider so now I don't have to screw it on and all that crazy stuff way better so now we should be able to get more time lapses which I know everybody likes
now that we have all these pieces cut out, we're ready to glue them up into the drawer. We make sure that uh, there's no glue spots in our drawer. John and I were careful when we glued these up, wipe out the glue inside so that there's no glue, glue creep out inside. So that, that, that'll keep everything from having any seams inside. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab one of these. I put it in here first and I don't glue it up because I'm gonna take it back out and I'm gonna wipe off any excess glue that's uh, on there when everything's finished. So for right now, I just want it to be there so that we have a stop and we're gonna take a couple of these. So I cut these on the table saw, put that little rabbit in there so that it uh, locks in these other pieces around the frame. So what do I do is I just take a plane either like this or you could use this also. I just like using this because it's easier to hold in one hand. Go like that to round off the corner here and that just uh, takes away any kind of burr that might be there. And so at that point we're ready to put some glue on here. Just like that, thread it with a stick. Okay, so that we got a good amount of glue on there. Stick it right down in the drawer. There we go, the first piece is in. I'm gonna do the same to this one on this other side. Hold the plane at 45, take off a few passes so that you make a nice little chamfer there and you deburr that edge. Then you uh, spread the glue on, spread it out. Now the important part is that you don't want any glue showing after you've glued all the pieces into the drawer. So I, I'm, it's fine for me to put the glue on this piece when I put it in because I'm just putting it in like this and then I'm closing it up and the glue isn't gonna creep out if you do it that way, okay? If I was to put this piece up against the side and push it down, all the glue would scrape out onto the top and you'd see it on the edge inside there because as you see, these are recessed down into there so you can see a little bit of the side um, so you want to make sure that there's no glue visible sticking out. So you want to take care when you put these pieces in. So now instead, when I go to glue on these long pieces here, and I go, go to fit them into my drawers, I don't put the glue, I don't apply the glue to this piece, I apply it in here so that it pushes down and the glue is not coming back up. And it's not visible, okay? So, all right, so you just put a good amount of glue. Oh, that was good. The pieces got a little extra glue on them because I was trying to show the camera and I sacrificed a lot for you guys, so you guys should appreciate this video. Anyways, we'll just get some water on a rag and we'll clean this up because you don't want any glue that you will have to sand off later. Okay, so now, like I was saying, we apply the glue in here and then we spread it inside the drawer, just like this, back and forth on that side. Then we get our piece, sham for it. And then we stick this right down in there. Okay, now as you can see, we have a little bit of glue in the bottom here, but that's fine because we didn't glue in this bottom piece. So we're gonna be able to take that out and just scrape off that glue and clean it right up. So that's why I don't glue in that bottom piece to start with. Okay, we're gonna do our next side here. And I'm just gonna put two clamps on here when I'm finished because I noticed that uh, glue tends to want to bow things a little bit. So just to make sure that that doesn't happen, I put on a couple of clamps to keep these side pieces from bowing in. Okay, so now, just like that, I'm gonna take the bottom out of here and you can see all the glue that was uh, sticking out here. I'm just gonna take just gonna take that razor blade. I'm going to scrape this glue off just so that I don't have to wash all that off. I'm gonna scrape it and then I'm gonna take my damp rag. I'm just gonna make sure that there's no hint of any glue in there so that when I put the finish on, it's not going to highlight any glue that's left on there. Okay, gonna make sure that it's nice and clean in here. And I'm gonna do a glue line around the perimeter of this. So I'll have a nice strong fit when I glue this in. I'm gonna get my hammer. I'm gonna check the inside. 
can hammer these in a tad. Okay. Now we're all set. We got that all, all, all done here. The last step that I need to do is just grab a couple of these hand grip clamps, these spring clamps, and I'll just put a couple on here that'll hold this tight against the side so that there won't be any hint of bowing outward as this dries up. And with that, we're all set. So now all I have to do is finish the other 24 over there and I'll be finished with these oak drawers. So it's looking good. It's nice that I put the nice little chamfer in there. It makes for a nice effect with the drawer linings, nice transition. We have the two-tone, the oak, the mahogany. Once we put some finish on here, it's gonna look pretty nice. And that is the goal. So without further ado, I'm gonna set up another time lapse and I'm just gonna rush through these 24 and then we're gonna see if we can get something else done today before we close out the video. So we're gonna wrap it up. I decided to cut this video short because I could go into how I sand the drawers and fit them into the puzzle chest, but I figured that'd be best left to another video. And uh, there's gonna be some other cool things I'm doing with these drawers. I'm putting in a uh, tracking system so that they don't have a lot of drawer slop and so that they don't come all the way out of the chest. That'll be an interesting thing to, uh, to, to tape for you on video. So I plan on making that one soon. So be sure to check back for that. Um, I'm going to call it a night and I'll see you again later. Goodbye.